Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. I hope that y'all are having a great Memorial Day. Uh, we are not having the best Memorial Day. Our hot water tank, it literally burst early this morning. We have no hot water in the house and things are just a little bit crazy right now. Um, it's just a lot going on right now, but cookies always help, right? Um, I don't know when we're going to be getting the hot water tank fixed. Maybe later this week. I don't know, but it's really hard out here sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Let's just get into this week's lineup, you guys. Um, I hope that you all are having a better Memorial Day than we are. The kids are at home. Uh, Bree sleeping. Tabby is with Perry. So it's just me out here filming today. So this week we have one of my favorite cookies. I will show you guys that in a little bit. But first we're going to get into the two new cookies of the week. So this is the first new cookie. This is banana split. So this is like a butter cookie base, I think. And then it has strawberry vanilla mousse. It's like a swirl of the strawberry within the vanilla. And then it has chocolate drizzle, whipped cream, and a cute maraschino cherry. I love these maraschino cherries. I'm a sucker for like Shirley Temples and the little maraschino cherries in the Shirley Temples. This is chilled. More of those cherries. I love them, you guys. It's like cherry candy. It's so good. I like the little artificial cherries. Typically, I'm not a big fan of banana stuff, but this one, I think it's going to be good because I really was a lot more impressed last week with the Skilla cookie that they had than I thought I was going to be. So I think I like moose things more now than I used to. So let's see how this cookie is. I'm excited for it. Mm. it's very very light very refreshing and I think this is like strawberry banana flavored I think that's what they said get some whipped cream it's a very light cookie. I mean, honestly, you could easily eat this whole thing in one sitting. The base is very buttery and it works really great with the mousse. It's a very, very light cookie. I don't think it's going to be one of my favorites and I don't like it as much as I liked that skillet cookie from last week. I would just maybe prefer more of the mousse on here because it's very light, but it's not bad. I think I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Next up is our other new cookie. And this feels kind of thin, but this is the chocolate sea salt toffee. So basically is their sea salt toffee cookie, but it's just chocolate for the base instead of the regular cookie base. But it still has the, I believe it's milk chocolate chips and then the toffee and the sea salt. And it's warm. Mm, it's like a brownie inside, but it's so thin today the way they made it. Okay, let me get a bite of the side. It's good. It's very fudgy in the center. It's like a brownie basically with the toffee and the milk chocolate chips. I think it's milk chocolate chips. So basically now you can decide if you prefer their chocolate sea salt toffee cookie or their regular sea salt toffee. I think I like the regular one better, but this is really good though um, because it definitely has like brownie vibes and it goes really well with the toffee. I think I would give this an 8 out of 10. Next up, one of the ones that they've had before. This is the Biscoff Lava. So it's a Biscoff cookie and then it has Biscoff in the center and then like a Biscoff drizzle and it's warm. So this is all 100% Biscoff. But I think that I'm going to like this cookie a lot because I don't think it's going to be like overly sweet. You can see the Biscoff in the center. I think it's not going to be overly sweet though. And that's a good thing. I mean, I like the sweeter cookies with the frosting, which we actually don't have any frosted cookies this week except for one. I'll show you guys that last because it's going to be my favorite. But we don't have a lot of frosted cookies this week. They had some left over from last week. I was debating if I should get either the Rice Krispie again or the Skillet cookie, but I didn't. I might get it later in the week. So not a super sweet week, but I think I'm going to like this one a lot. So let's just try it. That looked like peanut butter, but it's not. It's um, cookie butter. 
Mm. Oh, you know what? I don't even think I've had this one before, maybe one time before. But I feel like every time I try cookie butter, I end up liking it a lot more than what I think I'm going to. A lot of people are very crazy about cookie butter. But for me, whenever I see it on the menu, I'm never that excited for it, but I always end up liking it a lot. It has a good, good buttery flavor, but it's not too sweet. And y'all know I love buttery flavored things. I love butter pecan. I love that butterscotch McFlurry. I love caramel stuff. Cookie butter is kind of similar to all that, but more of like a cookie flavor, but it's buttery. And so many of you guys go crazy over this cookie. You know what? So far, this is my favorite. I'm gonna take another bite. It's just so soft and has a great cookie butter flavor, but it's not too sweet. I was excited about a month ago because I saw McDonald's was coming out with like this cookie butter McFlurry, but it turns out, I think it was in the UK and I was all set to make a video for you guys, but it turns out it was in the UK. But McDonald's, please bring that Biscoff cookie butter McFlurry to the US because I would love to try that. By the way, if you didn't see my video for the Grandma McFlurry, go check that out. It's really, really good. This is a test. Up is the cowboy cookie. So this is a warm cookie. It's similar to the mom's recipe. It's got milk chocolate chips, oats, I think walnuts and pecans. I don't see a lot of nuts in mine, but that's fine because I'm not a big fan of nuts and possibly coconut. So very similar to that mom's recipe cookie. Mmm. I think it's walnuts and pecans. It's good. And I actually haven't been getting their chocolate chip cookies for a while. Because we've been getting the other ones. I'm not a big fan of the milk chocolate chip. But I love the semi-sweet. But I was kind of craving it again. I might get them again next week in the box. So this is definitely satisfying me. And by the way, these are semi-sweet. Hmm. It's like a kitchen sink cookie. It's really good. Very basic, very simple. But it's got a little bit of everything in the cookie. And I think the base is like a combination of oatmeal and chocolate chip. It's definitely a lot to chew, a lot going on in this cookie, but I like it. It's a lot to chew, but I think it's really good. I give this an 8.5 out of 10. And then not last but least... Possibly my favorite crumble cookie after the semi-sweet. We have the Oreo milkshake. I've had this a lot of times before, and this actually was the cookie that I got in March for my free birthday cookie at Crumble. I was so, so excited. Because sometimes when it comes to your free birthday cookie, it might not always be something you like that week. But I got lucky this year. It was this one. This is the Oreo milkshake. This is chilled. So I think this is, well, the banana cream pie in this one is our chill cookies of the week. It's an Oreo-based cookie with an Oreo vanilla buttercream frosting and then a mini Oreo on top, you guys. I got two of these because I always ask Briella which one she wants. And this week she said this one. Lately she's been picking the same flavors as me for the one she wants. She picked the confetti last week, so she wanted this. So we got two of them. So let's try it. It's so good. Every time. It tastes like a real McFlurry, like an Oreo McFlurry. And this is similar to the confetti one because they both have a milkshake flavor, that confetti milkshake. But I like this better because the chocolate balances it out. The confetti milkshake is a little too milky tasting for me, but this is better because it has the chocolate in there too. It's like the best of both worlds. And I love how Crumble's milkshake cookies do taste like milkshakes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I gotta take another bite. It's so good. This is always a 10 out of 10. It's very sweet. I think this is definitely the sweetest cookie of the week. But I love the cookies with frosting, so this is so perfect for me. And I've had these cookies for a little while, so it's not really that cold. Like, it's chill, but not that cold. When it comes to 
the milkshake cookies you want to eat them cold because then it tastes a lot more like a milkshake and for my coffee i just got the butter pecan with cream from duncan little duncan hack i don't know if i've mentioned it before but duncan's coffee it tends to be watered down so if you add an espresso shot and get one extra pump of whatever sweetener you're getting that makes it chef's kiss because on its own without the extra sweetener and espresso shot it's just very watered down but i didn't get any extras today but normally i do so that's a little hack if you want your coffee stronger at dunks all right you guys so now it's time to rate what we ate so last place for me i think i'm gonna say honestly you guys probably the banana split cookie it was good but i definitely think that as far as mousse is concerned i like the skillet cookie better from last week it was okay but i would have preferred to have a little bit more of the mousse on there because it's pretty light so it's not that it's ever going to be overly sweet so they could have probably put some more mousse on there i wasn't getting a ton of banana flavor which is fine by me i don't really like banana stuff that much unless if it's in like a smoothie or something so that's fine but i wasn't getting a lot of strawberry flavor either i love strawberry so it was okay just not very flavorful for me i think they could have done a little better with it presentation wise it's really cute so that's good but it's going to be last place for me next up i'm going to say probably the what should i say probably the cowboy cookie i liked it but it was a lot to chew and for me i just like my coffee my coffee I like my cookies um, with not that much to chew, so it was good. I love the semi-sweet, bonus points for that. But compared to the other ones, I don't really love how it is a little more to chew. But it's not a bad cookie. I definitely say go get it if you like a lot of stuff in your cookie, like those kitchen sink type of cookies. Next up, I'm going to say the chocolate sea salt toffee. I like the regular toffee one better. But this was really good, and I love the fact how it tastes like a big brownie just with toffee in it. That was so good. I wish they would have made it a little bit thicker, though. It's a little thin, but not bad cookie. Next up, the cookie butter. Like, I feel like every time I try cookie butter, I like it more and more each time. It was really, really good, and they put a lot of cookie butter in there. Um, cookie butter, it has, like, Christmas vibes, in my opinion, but it's still good any time of year. And speaking of that, and speaking of my Dunkin' coffee, I was thinking about the Dunkin's cookie butter cold brew that they had. I hope they come out with that again this year because it was so good. And winner for me is the Oreo milkshake. I knew it was going to be the Oreo milkshake, you guys. Sometimes I don't know what my favorite's going to be. Sometimes I kind of have a hunch. I kind of knew it would be the Oreo milkshake. I just love everything about it. It's perfect. <laughs> it's literally in one of my top five favorite crumble cookies. And I think after the semi-sweet, that's probably the runner up for the next best crumple cookie so that's my favorite cookie of the week go get you some crumple cookies definitely go get the oreo milkshake and then the cookie butter those are my favorites uh, i think cookie butter is now going to be in my top 10 because that was really good this week so that's going to do it for this week's crumble review you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hopefully we get our water tank fixed sometime this week because it is not easy not having hot water especially when you have kids but we did buy like a bunch of gallon bottles of water we're just gonna kind of improvise and do the best we can you guys anyway you guys thank you for watching and have a good week